No matter where I am in Schoology, I can navigate any place else by going to the main menu bar. Home, which is where I am now. Courses, groups, or resources. I can also at any point go to messages and my own settings. For right now, let's go to groups. The EdTech PLC group is one that I created. PLC stands for Professional Learning Community. The crown means that I am the admin, king or queen, so to speak. Flip Classrooms is a group but that came from the school-wide general community across a number of different schools. Since I'm very interested in flipped instruction, I decided to join this group. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's now go to the EdTech PLC. I am now inside my EdTech PLC group. I have the ability to write an update. You may notice here in the central area of the screen, the middle column, that I've already previously written a welcome update or message. It says welcome to Schoology group, etc. I won't read it anymore. But it's there as I write additional updates. Here is an additional update. I am producing videos using Camtasia Studio. I will post to YouTube. I add that. I correct my spelling. You can see the update automatically comes here and any members of my group will now see this. If I want to edit anything, I first hover over what I want to edit, and then the gear icon will appear. If I click on the drop-down, I have the ability to either edit it or delete it. Let's, for the purposes of this video, go in and edit. Here we see, here is an additional update. I'm producing videos using Camtasia Studio. I will post to YouTube links to come later and the all-important save changes. It's instantly posted. I'm up to date. Now that I've updated my posts and we can see them here in a date ordered fashion, let's go over to the navigation bar to the left. I've added a picture of me. I have group options, the ability to send messages, out of privacy, etc. Discussions. I have not created any discussions yet other than the simple iPad challenge. Albums, which are images that I've uploaded. Members. For the purposes of this group, I have several people who've uh, decided to join. And resources. Let's look at the resources. I want you to note that when I'm in resources, the central content column has expanded to give me more real estate. This makes life a lot more easy. Notification is collapsed into a single button in the upper right. The way in which we add resources to groups or to courses is virtually identical. There are a few different minor differences. We'll go into those later. Notice that in the drop-down menu, I have the ability to add a folder and to do a number of other things, including adding question banks and the all-important copy from resources. I have decided to create four folders, and inside those folders, I've added resources. The first folder I created was called EdTech Websites, or at least that's the way I named it. Inside that, I decided that these were the ones I wanted to focus on for the group. Common Core State Standards because they drive so much of what happens in curriculum and instruction. Common Sense Media for Educators, critically important for teachers, especially in guiding their students and protecting their students. There are other websites as well. However, let's look at the other folders I've added. To go up the hierarchy, I click on Resources again. Here I am, and I see the four folders that I have created, EdTech Websites and Instructional Resources. 
in looking at instructional resources, although these are also websites, they are focused on instructional practices in the classroom, best lessons, etc. Here I have Teaching Channel, What Works Clearinghouse, Free, the Federal Registry, and Kathy Schrock's Guide to Everything. It's not meant to be exhaustive, but I do want you to notice that when I add a link, the little icon is pulled from the website itself. There's a title, and if I click on it, I can go to it. Let's see. I clicked on Teaching Channel, and here it is. I'm at that site. I can go back to Schoology at any point I want. A brief note about navigation. I'm currently in Teaching Channel. Notice the uh, changing pictures. If you go up to the Browser tabs, you will see that I'm in Teaching Channel, but that the first tab is EdTech PLC. I click on that, and I'm there. In other words, two tabs are open in my browser. Navigation is intuitive and super simple. I'm back in Instructional Resources. If I want to go to the Parent folder called Resources, I simply click on it. The navigation bar is always open on the left side, so that if I wanted to add an update while I'm thinking about it, I could do so. But right now, what I want to do is take EdTech Websites, this folder that I've created, and add it to my mock course. Of course, I'm actually teaching for others. One of the advantages of a learning management system like Schoology is the ability to manage large volumes of information, including resources. It also saves me as a teacher time. I've created a number of these resources, as you can see here on the page, at Tech Websites, which has a number of uh, annotated links. I go back to resources. I've got instructional resources. Go back to resources. I've got iPad resources. Go back to resources. I've got PBL or project-based learning resources. I don't want to have to duplicate these in other courses. What can I do to simplify my life? I've already created EdTech websites. I'm currently in the EdTech PLC group. I want to copy it to a course. I go over to the all important gear icon and I have the option to add to course. I click on that. This part is very important. You need to check the checkbox. At that point it gives me the option as it would give you to add to a specific folder. I'm going to add this to unit 1 I then click on Add. EdTech websites should now be added to my course. Notice the green notification bar at the top that says the template was added. Let's go to Courses. I click on Courses. In my case, I'm only teaching one section, Mock Course. I click on it, and in Unit 1, I see not only Rick's website that I had manually put in, but other EdTech websites. All the work that I've previously done has been saved. Schoology has come to my rescue.